Hello, oh, good morning. Okay, right now I'm gonna make another one of my favorites. This was like my son when when I was married. My my ex. This was like their fav one of their absolute favorites. This is a big one. And this is very good. Okay, so there I've got some potatoes cut. If you saw my video on how to make Spanish tortillas, I I, I make I cut potatoes like that to make like almost everything. So there's my typical Spanish cut potatoes, I call them. This is the secret, okay? If you see this, uh, it's, veg it's a vegan plant-based ground sausage, gimme lean, it's called. Like this is one of the best fake meat products you've ever had. This is so freaking good, okay? So, in fact, I'm gonna add, add it now. This meal has a handful of my favorite, some of my best gems, like this is, but this is the beauty, see? This is, you'll judge it, you'll go, ew, yuck, it's horrible, you know? But this is, this stuff is to be judged. It doesn't become outstanding until it starts being cooked. Okay, so. You know, like it, it like starts hardening and taking its shape. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't look or smell or taste or anything like sausage. The thing is about this stuff, it tastes better than sausage because it's, it looks and tastes just like sausage, but it's not. I mean, it makes, ah, uh, typical problem. I have a really sensitive, sensitive smoke alarm in my place. Um, there, see, in this case, I'm not patting them into patties. Normally, when you pat it into a patty, you can barely get it off your fingers, but then, but then once it starts cooking, it holds its shape, and that's when it starts looking right. So, that's why, that's why you want to judge this after, like, eat it. Cook it all the way, and then eat it, and then decide if you like it or not. So... Now I'm going to add some onions to it too. See, I like my potatoes crispy because then when you add ketchup to it, it kind of like absorbs in. You turn the gas back on. Okay, so now I'm going to want to kind of fry this up. Greek seasoning. I showed you in my other videos my seasonings. I use either Cajun seasoning or Greek seasoning or uh, Slapio Mama seasoning or Kroll seasoning. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of that Greek, that gosh damn Greek seasoning. And a little bit of dried parsley. And a really small amount of salsa. The salsa ends up drying up and just making it so it's like a little more moist, like overall the whole thing. And so there's little like tomatoes and stuff in it, okay? Now I'm going to stir this up, okay? That looks good. So the big thing is, it's mostly about the sausage, so the, the onions. Those, those just will fall apart real soon. Okay. So now... Now I'm going to add a couple of the, the eggs. Okay, I'm going to stir that all up. So this you want to just keep stirring it and stirring it. So that the eggs don't burn on the bottom or... You want them to kind of like absorb into it, so it's almost like there aren't eggs. A little bit of garlic salt. Now that it's all the ingredients are there. So the garlic salt and the Greek seasoning both have salt in it. A little bit of black pepper.
So you kind of salt to taste it using the garlic salt. It looks like we're pretty much done now. Okay. Put it on the plate. <coughs> Cover it with chit 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 cheetah pets. I mean cheetah. I mean cheese. Got your cup of kefa. That's alright, I only need a little bit of ketchup on this. Too much ketchup isn't good. I'd rather just add a small amount of ketchup like that, just to make it feel American. Add a little bit of Tabasco to make it feel Chinese. Just kidding. And a couple pieces of toast. Oh, I ran out of grapefruit. I gotta go shopping. I might, I might have this with some grapefruit, but I don't have any right now. But that's probably enough to carbos to get me started during the day. Oh my hell! This is good. Very good. 